Why does Westboro have so little influence over society? Why are they in a position where nobody comes to them for matters of consideration? Why are they so ineffectual? I believe a prime reason for this relates to what Stephen Covey talks about in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I believe it's in the chapter about being proactive. Now, on one hand, they are definitely proactive in the sense that they're doing something. But in another more fundamental sense, they're definitely reactive. Stephen Covey talks about what he calls the circle of influence. And he says a lot of people spend their energy concerning themselves with matters they have little or no control over. And he believes it's better to focus your energy on what you have control over, which is the term circle of influence. He suggests and asserts if you focus on what you have control over, your circle of influence, it will expand. Interesting point. Those individuals who are concerned first and foremost about doing right, not about condemning other people for doing wrong, tend to be very influential. Obviously people who aren't concerned about doing right for themselves but don't tell others what to do aren't influential either. They're not doing it optimally either. The key is doing what's right and focusing what's on right and focusing on yourself and what you can change. Like I've been saying throughout all these videos on Westboro, one impulse I've made in the past that was so wrong was trying to change other people. And I embraced the moral crusader role. One of the big mistakes of my existence but I'm not going to stop doing the good things. Therefore, I'm not going to just be passive. I'm going to learn from this and create a bridge to something greater. And hopefully others will see it that way. And hopefully I'm doing it right here. Hopefully I'm focusing on myself. When I was in my moral crusading moments, I was telling other people to do. Now that's not to say all moral crusaders are 100% hypocritical. For I wasn't, or at least I like to think I wasn't. After all, I was telling people not to drink alcohol and I wasn't drinking it myself. So I was consistent in a sense. The problem was I was focusing my energy on other people. It's not necessarily 100% you're focusing your energy on other people. You're focusing your energy on yourself. Because you can be doing some things right, but you're spending some of your energy on condemning other people. Even Westboro doesn't devote 100% of their energy just to condemning. There are things they actually do. They do practice what they preach, at least to some extent, in some matters. For example, one of their big issues is not taking money because they believe that pollutes the ministry of the gospel. Now, most people don't take it that far, but they don't take money for their preaching. So they are consistent. And when they condemn other people for not doing it, they are consistent as well. But it would be better if they and all of us would focus on our energy on what we can do, what we can do in our lives to make ourselves better. And that is very influential. As Stephen Covey also says, he says, be a model, not a critic. Obviously, a moral crusader is more of a critic than a model. They're more concerned about what other people are doing, not with the way they live their lives. The old saying is, an example is the best sermon. People don't like to be preached at. And this goes for everyone. Nobody likes that approach. Thus, 
people react very harshly towards Westboro Baptist Church. Not all more crusaders are so full of hate, but they are full of selfish pride. And it's more about that than about the morals. Or at least they're competing. And that's a problem. Stephen Covey says we need to get on the principle center. And I was looking back at his book. I read it a few years ago. And he said, oftentimes it's two or three things that are coming together. So we probably never be perfect, but it's better to be focused more on principles than anything else. And a moral crusader is probably trying to go between principles, self, which it, Covey says is also one of those centers, or enemy-centered as another one of those centers. Therefore, I believe it's best to worry about your own life. This is not to say you live in a vacuum and you're just going all about not having a life that affects other people. But you control what you do and that makes yourself a better example and therefore your power increases. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Hopefully my influence will increase.